we've had overfills for 15, 20 years. It used to be way back over, I started grad school probably about over 20 years ago. Even at that time, we had simulcast capabilities. It was uh, 2050, 2040, 2060 BLSB, because at that time, class sizes were about 900 students. And what they did, they separated Bio 1A, 1B into two different semesters. So it's taught both semesters and summer to drop the sizes from you know, 900 now to about 700, but it's taught three times a year. Like with most things, it can be used both for the good and the bad. Positive, it allows students to go back and watch lectures. Um, certainly allows them to slow down the speed. So if you're going really fast, they can slow it down. Uh, the other thing is it allows you to potentially, using PowerPoint, maybe go into topics more deeply. You're not trying to recreate the images on the board. Uh, the students can have the slides ahead of time. So ideally, they could actually look at your lecture slides beforehand, figure out what you're going to talk about, and try to guess why you're talking about it, so that when they actually get to lecture, they can really get a lot more from it. I don't think many students do that. That's asking a lot from them. Uh, the disadvantage is the webcast in particular. They don't want to come. They don't have to come, right? But unfortunately, sometimes the camera operator may not even show up, so there's no webcast for that day. Sometimes they're not very good operating the camera. So, for example, the other day we had an iClicker question. We have two rooms, simulcast in 10 Evans. They never showed the question for the 10 Evans people. There was no way they could vote. Um, those are some drawbacks. I think the webcast should be used as a supplement for those few lectures that students miss sickness, uh, they just can't make it, and then also as a study tool. But there's always, you know, there's Google Hangouts and chats and things like that. Uh, you know, there's chat rooms with BSpace, although BSpace is not the best system. Um, but I don't know if too many people are actually trying to really do new novel things. I think the main thing is we want to get students to interact. And if technology can get students to interact either with themselves, with us, or the material, then I think you, that's when you want to use technology.